Hi folks, <clears throat> um, you find this video through a link on um, replacing the uh, oil tank float. Uh, you probably had an alarm going off um, in your boat um, that indicated that it was the float. I um, had alarms going off and I started with the heat sensors and uh, replaced the heat sensors and thermostats and um, that didn't do the trick. So then I um, got onto the oil alarm and uh, talking to a mechanic, he explained to me how this thing works. And then I found this video that you're probably watching because I'm going to attach this link to this really good video um, that the other gentleman did. But he had a different tank. He did have a mercury, I guess, but his tank was bluish and kind of squarish jug. This is off a 250. EFI two stroke 1996 I believe anyway it's all one piece um, the sensor comes out of the top and you can test the sensor um, the sensor comes out flips into this hole here and then this got the connectors for the uh, to the engine you can check the if this thing's working or not I saw on a different video with a multi tester so you put the multi tester to it and you test for continuity so if you touch your two probes together it should go to zero why is it not going to zero put that down here Was not plugged in here okay so there you go so you making sure that your two plugs your terminals are plugged in um, so it goes to zero you disconnect the uh, when they're just apart you see this number one multi testers are a little bit different everywhere you go so you touch the two then you get a zero so now to test that sensor you it should have no continuity it's just a circle so you're gonna put your probes in there and then with a magnet because there's a magnet inside this jug on this spindle there is a float and then the float and then there's a magnet ring right there so then this sensor fits in to this bit here so as this float moves up and down on that this magnet is to be attached to the bottom of the float so if that magnet has fallen off like this one did the float rises but the magnet stays below so the engine thinks you're out of oil so back to testing this uh, sensor so I'm gonna put this up here where we can see it all at the same time so if you take your magnet and run it you'll see the meter change sure my connections are all hooked up now. there you go connecting came in then again all right so we're plugged in now set that on there down here so you can see this now you're going to move that magnet across there now you see you're getting current through that probe which means that sensor is still good I of course just ordered one for $25 but I figured I had no problem so that's a good sensor so now we're into this fixing this thing so <clears throat> I'm going to attach this video to the other man's video um, so this is heat sealed this tank so that's by design so you can't fix it what I gently did was um, using my butane torch I 
heated up the flange um, as gently as I could and with a uh, pry device I used my five and one tool and what have you razor blade knife I was able to get that off of there you can see it's kind of mangled but I'm going to continue with this project so the next step is to remove the retaining clip that white washer and then need to glue that magnet to the float and in the other video the gentleman used a um, gasoline resistant silicone high temp red sealer um, and I'm going to do the same thing and then I'm going to put this all back together and I'm going to put it back in in there and this stuff this is a thermoplastic it got real soft real quick underneath that uh, butane torch and I'm going to see if I can melt it back on and um, if I can get a pretty good seal on it it should work and if it doesn't work well I've already got the other $88 tank coming but uh, just for shits and giggles I uh, give it a try and uh, so that's it so if you got one of these tanks I would probably recommend that when you heat this up that you have a um, very sharp probably utility knife blade and carve it off there uh, shave it off of that top of that tank much more elegantly than I have um, and then when you put it back it should heat and uh, melt back together and uh, you should be good to go that's it from Matt Lachey Florida I hope you're having better success with your boat than mine um, you know they're just uh, money pits we pour money into nothing money won't fix so enjoy your boat enjoy your time on the water have a great day